name is Estelle Robinson. I've been an artist for many, many years. I specialise in portraiture, animals and people, and I use pastel, coloured pencil and graphite. Basically, I have a graphite stick. I have graphite pencils and I use Caran d'Ache for those because they go onto the paper like butter. I also use charcoal pencils because I feel with graphite the key to getting a good finish is about contrast and the charcoal pencils are really good for getting the really dark areas. I also have a putty rubber, this is a Koh-i-Noor putty rubber, it comes ready soft. A lot of them you have to spend a lot of time warming them up and making them malleable. This one it's malleable all the time so it's nice and stretchy and soft all the time. And another key piece of equipment is my paper stump. Very simple, very cheap. I use it all the time. In fact, I almost use it like a pencil. And last of all, I have a dart. Just an everyday dart, normal. Um, sometimes you've got really dark areas and you've got fine hairs or very fine detail, you want really white. That's what I use the dart for. As you can see, I've done a very um, simple outline of this little girl, it's actually my granddaughter. Um, I've done one eye already so you can see the finished thing. But I just want to show you how I go about the eye and with the portrait that's where I always start. Um, but with graphite, if I get good contrast, the eyes will really pop. Okay, so I start with the outline. And even though I've done a very simple outline, now I'll start to take a bit more care and take my time with it. And it's so important to keep looking at your reference photo. So I'm using a 3B and I find a 3B will cover probably 90% of the requirement of what I want to do. At the top there, not to forget that little rim just of the, the top of the eyelid where the eyelashes will sit. Now even though I'm going to be doing single eyelashes, I will just do a little bit of a border here with the pencil and you'll see why when I come to add a bit more detail later. Now when, in, when doing um, a subject with a really, really dark eye, it's very easy to think that there's nothing there, there's no, you, you know, you could end up doing quite a flat colour. So it's important to remember, which is where the um, laptop comes in really useful, that there's a lot more there. If you zoom right in, you'll be able to see the different tones. The charcoal pencils come in dark, medium and light, not like your graphite pencils that come in various um, shades. But I want that pupil really, really dark. So hopefully you can see straight away. It just goes that bit darker. And the eyelid as well. And just around the edge of the iris. And once I've got that darkness on, what I'll do then is use the paper stump to just spread it out. So I use the paper stump really like I'm shading with a pencil. And then I've got a nice base tone that I can work into. And the useful thing about the paper stump as well is that above, around the eye, above the eye, there's going to be a little bit of shading. So I'll just get rid of some of the excess on there. But rather than having to pick up a pencil and do more, I'll just use that to add a little bit of shading around the eye. I just find a paper stump so versatile and so useful. There's a little bit there as well. using what graphite there is on there already. Okay, right and then I'll go back to my 3B and I'll start adding a bit more of the outline of the eye.
And again, I'm going to do a little bit of a thicker line there because that's where the bottom eyelashes will sit. Looking really carefully at my reference picture. The eyelashes will come out slightly there. I think the paper stunk because I want a bit of a smidgy line just along there. Then I'm going to take my charcoal pencil again and start to work into that iris. I'm looking really carefully just for different tonal levels within the iris. So eyes are so dark that if I'm not careful I'll get too dark and then we'll just end up with a flat a flat eye which we definitely do not want. Work it in with the paper stump. And then slowly, I just keep building up and building up. I'm actually going on to a 3B now because I think I've got enough of the darkness in there. Just working into that iris. A nice clean edge if I can get it. Into a smidge there, switch where the pretty rub comes in. Just lift that out. There we go. Okay. Um, even though our eyeballs are white, we've got shadows um, cast over them. So. I'm going to go in quite lightly with the paper stump this time and just add a little bit of shade because this is what will give the eyeball its form. So you can see it's round rather than just a flat image. So I'm going quite lightly because I don't want it too dark. And I've tied it my bottom corner there. Just need to make that pupil a wee bit bigger. Now, with when you're working with graphite and charcoal pencils, ideally you want to put your charcoal down first, because with graphite you get the graphite sheen. It's the wax content that's in the graphite, so it's very difficult to get anything else to sit on top of it. Um, however, it will go over it to a degree, but it is much better. To do graphite first and then top it up. Oh, sorry, to do the charcoal first and then top it up with your graphite. I'll just work into that a little bit now. So you can see, even though she has really dark eyes, there are different tones in there. It's not just a flat, dark tone. Okay, so now I'm going to think about the eyelashes um, before those, because the eyelashes I think are the thing that kind of make the eye, the eye pop. So I need to think what's behind the eyelashes. So we have the little crease, everybody has, because remember your eye is a ball sitting in a socket. So we have this little crease that sits above the eye. Let me just add a little bit of shading so you can see there's a bit of a recess there and on a little bit of fizz just there and I'll put in the eyelashes over the top of that. And then go to the bit that I like and this where we have the eyelashes. So at the base of the eyelashes 
I will have a pencil quite firm and I'll put quite a lot of pressure on but as I come up and sweep the eyelashes outward I will lift the pencil off the paper so you get that nice sharpness. So you can see the nice and thin, these thin little hairs. Very pretty little eyelashes. And I'll make sure my pencil's quite sharp when I do this as well. But you can see then why I had that little border. I filled in that little border there. Just where the eyes, the eyelashes are coming out of the eye. You see it gets you a nice kind of sharp finish. So it's fizzy and dark at the base. Nice and light as you come out. And then, even though I've done the graphite first on this one, I will just touch it up a smidge with the charcoal pencil just to get a good contrast. Just in that fizzy bit at the bottom. Because then what I do is go back in with the graphite and pull that dark charcoal out. Just gives you a good contrast. And then just gently actually use a paper stump for this, fill in that top rim of the eyelid. Okay, and you see the eye then just starting to pop. Attention to detail. And that's the top. Eyelid pretty much doing just a couple of little hairs here. Just doodle it in a little bit. That's the top eyelid done. Then we move on to the bottom one. Okay, so this side's nearly finished now. Just finish off that bottom eyelid, and the same thing applies. So into the base where the eyelashes start to come out. And flick out. Now these are slightly more delicate than the top eyelashes. So just nicely delicate strokes, um, and also slightly lighter than the top eyelashes as well. So little paper stump so I don't want to go in quite as heavy. So I'm not going to use the charcoal pencil. Just switch it slightly there. And a couple of the final details in the corner of the eye. Just go a little bit darker there. And then anything I don't want, I'll just use my pretty rubber to get rid of. So a little up there we don't need. Again, it's a 3B. I haven't changed the graphite pencil at all. It's been 3B all the way. Just a little bit of uh, shading there. And that's it, pretty much. I. It's complete.